In the book, The Six Things I Learned the Hard Way, uh, courage is one of the topics we dig into. Mm -hmm. Joshua, of course, was Moses' aide. When Moses died, Joshua then led them across the River Jordan, as we just mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. But as he was preparing to go, God said this to him in the first chapter of Joshua. Um, he said in verse number six, Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous, be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth, meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? So here we find mm. that courage is not a feeling. It's a command. It's a command. <laughs> courage is an act uh, you can do it afraid. It is not a feeling. God says, I command you to be courageous. I command you to be strong and courageous. He said it three times. So obviously he's wanting him to get this. Okay. You're heading into battle, strong and courageous. So being courageous is a decision. It is. It's good, Gary. And I like what you said too. Don't forget this word, what this word says. That's right. And, uh, hey, you speaking write it of down. that, you've started Provision Institute for that reason. That exactly. is, I don't want us to forget about that because that's crucial to keep that word, that teaching before you about the kingdom. And what did God say? What, is, what does his word say? What do the promises well, say? Well, let's say that God had written down, this say his prophetic word was, uh, I want to send you, uh, I want you to take this daily television and I want you to do, you know, whatever. He rewrote it, okay? If he had not have said stretch you, if he didn't mention hard things, if he didn't mention beyond your understanding, the impossible. You see, I think Christians don't understand that part of it. If you understand the process, then you're not going to run at the, t at the sign of pressure. And so God is letting me know that, listen, there's going to be pressure. This looks impossible to you. You're going to get stretched. You're going to get stretched. That means good. some days but it's not going to feel possible. In, a, in an amazing process that God uses to stretch us, when you have a balloon, if you, if you blow it up, you know, it's really little when you blow it up. If you blow it up, it, it, it it's big. But if you let the air out of it, what has happened to the balloon? It's bigger than it was. It's bigger than it was. So when you're stretched, you retain that new, that new boundary. And so God always wants to stretch us to make us more valuable, mm -hmm. more effective in his kingdom. So courage is something you have to master and the concept that it's feelings mm. is not accurate. So right. the five things, and of course we have a lot of stories where courage, and courage never stops. The mountains just right. get bigger, you know. Right. But uh, a, a valuable in the book, uh, the six things, you, you know, God taught us, there's a lot of things, but we put six in the book. But six things you really you have to master. But you've got to learn. You have to learn, and you'll go around. If you don't learn it, you'll go. You'll just keep backing up and starting, backing up and starting. Right. Take that test. Again. And you'll have to take the test. You got to pass yeah. the test, or you're going to stay right. where you're at. So. Right. So good what you're sharing because the enemy is always wanting to change the picture. So always. the pressure is trying to change your picture to keep you from seeing that reward. But you got to keep your eyes on what God said That's and the right. reward, so that you can persevere through faith and patience right. we inherit. You cover so many great things mm -hmm. in the six things that I learned the hard yeah. way. And that's one of the reasons also you start Provision Institute. Right. So that we can keep that picture of the kingdom, renew people's minds, tell them our journey. I feel like you and I walk out things all the time because we're trying, God is showing it to us so we can turn around and share it with others. So understanding how the kingdom operates, Provision Institute is a 12 month online school that we want to mentor people. For instance, just like we're talking about courage, all right? If we could sit down with uh, someone that's young and say, look, this is your life's going to have these times where you're going to be facing hard times. And you have to know they're coming. They're not from God. The enemy is going to try to stop anything God is doing. Right, he'll challenge it. And, but just in the natural, taking more responsibility takes courage and mm -hmm. character building. So it's not always from the enemy. Sometimes just our character needs what change. you're doing requires more than you have, mm. and God is going to stretch you to be able to handle more responsibility mm. later through our 30-some years of, of learning the God as He's taught us about the kingdom, mm. uh, just like this example. You know, if you can lay it out for people, here's how the kingdom operates. 
here's the foundation you have to have to ever understand the kingdom over here. If you don't build the foundation, you try to shortcut it, you're not going to be able to stand over here. So if you lay the foundation detail by detail, then people have knowledge that's going to help them persevere with what the Lord says and understand with confidence how the kingdom operates. Mm -hmm. And that's what changed our lives. Yes. And that's what we want to tell people. Yes, absolutely. And helping them understand it's normal to have pressure and challenges. Exactly. Don't rebel. Don't throw off the word. Don't cast mm -hmm. off your confidence. Stay in the picture that God's given you. Stay in the plan. Do what he's told you that's to right. do. So it's so good. We would encourage people that if you haven't heard about Provision mm -hmm. Institute, uh, Gary shared a little bit about that today. That's something that God put in our spirit and our hearts 10 years ago and gave us the name for it. We thought it would be a physical school people would come to, but God mm -hmm. said, no, this is an online school. They can, uh, every corner of the globe, they can get this teaching, this mentorship. And this is something that I believe would help you and be a great blessing to encourage your faith, to challenge you to stay on course, to understand the goodness of God, his character, what he's given to you, what you have, how to walk it out, how to persevere and how to walk and have the fruit, the reward that Gary's been talking about. So we encourage you, go to the website. You can find out more about it, provisioninstitute.org. You can go there and you can find out how do I get involved. You can enter the program anytime. So it is on there for you and it's there because God wants you to inherit all that Jesus paid that's for, right. to grow and to fulfill your destiny in Christ. And that's what this is a tool to help accomplish. And we believe it's going to uh, happen quickly across the globe. And so we invite you to be a part of that, join that. Thank you for uh, being part of what we're doing today. Thank you, Gary, for sharing yeah. six things you've learned the hard way. I know there's another uh, there's five. More. Yeah, there's more. Uh, but, but thank you for sharing because I believe courage is... Life. With faith and then courage, that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the key, isn't it? That's right. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great help, I think, to people. And I think they'll be curious to see, okay, what did we learn? But I'm sure every lesson will be beneficial. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.